Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 419. Common Brain Lesions. What are the consequences of reticular activating system of the midbrain lesion? If the reticular activating system of the midbrain is lesioned, it would lead to a reduced level of arousal and awakefulness. For example, a coma-like condition. What is a consequence of mammillary body bilateral lesion? If the mammillary bodies are bilaterally lesioned, it will lead to Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. What is Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome? Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is a, a condition in which there is confusion, ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, memory loss, and this is an anterograde and retrograde amnesia, as well as confabulation and personality changes can all occur in Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. What is confabulation? Confabulation just means that there is an unconscious filling of gaps in one's memory by making up stuff to you know, fill in the gaps in the memory. What is ophthalmoplegia? Ophthalmoplegia is a condition in which there is a paralysis of muscles within the eye or surrounding the eye. What can cause mammillary body lesions? Mammillary body lesions can occur due to thymine deficiency, which is vitamin B1, and alcohol use. This can also be precipitated by giving glucose without vitamin B1, which is thymine, to a thymine deficient patient. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at USMLE.